Hello everybody, my name is Crew, and today I'm going to be showing you guys my concept for baseball in Minecraft. This is a really cool idea using some of the Minecraft mechanics in fun different ways, and I think this thing is turning out pretty well. Unfortunately, it's just an idea so far, so it's not a finalized game yet. Uh, but I did think it was cool enough to make a video on it and show you guys this fun little idea for baseball in Minecraft. So anyway, getting started here, we have the pitching machine and we have the sort of batter's box. Now, I know this is where the pitching mound goes and this is where the batter box goes, but unfortunately, there's no such thing as baseball bats in Minecraft. I know, be shocked, um, but so I had, to, I had to improvise here a little bit. And um, just for this game of baseball, we have the pitching mound here and the batter's box here. It still looks okay, you know, the field looks the same, um, but this is, this is how the machine works. So this is the pitching machine right here. It goes ahead, it automatically pitches the balls, um, and the balls are snowballs. So it shoots them out at the um, slime block. And when the snowballs land in front, or, or on top of, I should say, on top of this slime block, what the batter has to do is he has to look at the snowball, time it, and when you time it just right, you'll go ahead, launch up, and that will launch the snowballs out of the ballpark. All right, so let me show you guys this machine in action. We have this little button here at the top, which you can, you know, you can get a friend up here to manually give you pitches if you want that. Um, but then there's also this little switch down here, and that activates the automatic pitching machine, which is just a simple clock. So go ahead, you gotta stand in the sort of batter's box, even though this is the pitcher's mound, but hey, pretend for me, will ya? This is Minecraft. And you sort of stand here, and you gotta wait, and you gotta try to hit, hit the balls. So you gotta time it, you want the, you want, there we go, that was a good hit, and every hit is a home run, by the way. Um, but you want to time it, you want the snowball to, you know, be directly above the slime block when you go ahead and step on the pressure plate. That one was a bit early, but this is pretty fun, and this is a lot like normal baseball, you know, you see it, oh, another hit, that was pretty awesome, but you see it, you know, come out of the pitcher's hand with the little, the little light up, oh man, we are drilling him today, um, but you see, you know, the balls come out, and um, there's actually quite a bit of variance, so the pitches are coming all over the place, man, you can see that one was a little bit low, they tend to be outside, you know, high pitches, and um, unfortunately, I don't know how you can get a curveball or, or something of that, that would be interesting to see if that's possible. Um, but for now, there's quite a bit of variance, so you can choose to not swing, you can choose to swing, and um, every hit, unfortunately, is a home run. You know, you can't hit anything other than a home run. Oh man, look at us, we are on fire right now. Oh, that was, that was a little bit off timing. Um, but every hit's a home run, so I guess you could do sort of a miniature game where, you know, you, you're up here and you either strike out or you get a point, which is a home run. And you guys could do that, you know, three outs and then switch. Um, so there are little mini games, but I just thought this was a fun little concept. And, um, man, it works really well, surprisingly well. And it's really easy to build, too. You know, all you need is a little clock and then a sticky piston, slime block, and a wooden pressure plate, or actually any pressure plate for that matter. Um, that was a little bit high. I shouldn't have swung at that. But you could get good at this, man. I'm getting, oh, look at me. I'm, I'm on fire right now. I got the timing down. Um, but it's, it's hard to, you, you know, not swing at balls, but geez, oh man, I'm drilling them. I've also made this, this cute little baseball field here to play on. It's just for show. Um, there is a world down the link down in the description if you guys want to check it out. This, um, this little baseball field did take me quite a while to make. And, um, I think it's the cutest little game to play with your buddies if you want to, you know, who's, see who's better at timing and hitting balls. I'm, I'm great, dude. I'm hitting all these home runs right now. I'm on fire. I want to hit one more. Oh, oh man, I got hit by that pitch, didn't I? Come on. Oh, that was a little bit low. Alrighty, come on. Mmm, home run. That's what I'm talking about. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and this little bit of a concept. If you guys have any ways of which you could, you know, improve this idea and maybe make it a full all-out baseball game, that would be a great a great little idea. Maybe we could figure out how to add a scoring system or some sort of balancing points to make it fair. Um, it would be fun to have a pitcher up here as well, pushing the button and um, throwing balls. Because you can see, you know, they're not strikes every time. Some some of them are strikes, but a lot of them are low or high or outside. And um, that's the fun of using a dispenser. So my name is Crew. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. We'll download link down in the description if you guys want to check that out. Um, be sure to check out my other little Minecraft inventions. And I will see you guys next time. Adios. Full tutorial on how to build this awesome little potion machine. Now the cool thing about this potion machine is the redstone behind it is absolutely tiny. It's super simple to build. You guys will have no troubles building this thing in your survival world. It's also really easy to operate. I'm going to be giving you guys a full tutorial on it 
Anywho, let me go ahead and get started by showing you